Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader as well as a medium here and I'm here to give some type of messages from beyond. Hopefully this does help and resonate for whomever this is meant for. Let's get into it here. So I hope you guys are doing well. Do check out my uh, books up on Amazon. Link is down below in the description box below. There's definitely guilt feeling here. I feel that it, um, I feel like it's a friend. I feel that this is a male that passed, and I feel that his male friend does miss him. Okay, I feel that things were not left uh, in the proper manner. I just heard, meaning that they had a little bit of a um, an argument, a disagreement. Okay, nothing crucial, but there was lack of communication, and I feel that it was kind of like I'm I'm kind of over it. Uh, this is while they were still alive, you know, both of them. Uh, I'm kind of over this fight here, but never really got to speak and talk again. Okay, before they're passing. Quite interesting energy. Yeah, so there's definitely uh, guilt here, okay? And I feel like the friend wants you to know uh, that it's okay. You know, it's okay. It's water under the bridge kind of energy here. He's okay with it, okay? Uh, he feels regretful too, okay? Yeah, a little bit... They keep playing that song. I think it's from the 70s. Little bit too little, too late, too whatever, you know, what have you. But I, I just hear those first few words, you know, of that song. Uh, but anyway, that's what I'm feeling. I do hear and feel that you should uh, reach out to this person who was married. Okay. And I feel that they, um, if you want to reach out and send your condolences, or if you know where they live and you want to send a card, any kind of acknowledgement is fine. They're, the wife is not going to have a problem with that. And I do feel that it will be well appreciated, I heard as well. Yeah, definitely a stressful moment here. Okay, release that. Okay. <clears throat> It feels like I should have, I could have, I would have, you know, or should have, would have, could have, or whatever. But yeah, no, two grown adults, I literally heard that can work this out and just letting you know that everything is fine. Don't feel bad about this. Absolutely not. He was just as, he's saying this, he was just as wrong about the situation for not communicating. Okay. But yeah, I keep hearing what you're saying here, what you are saying from somebody uh is that please forgive me kind of thing yeah there's a lot of guilt there's yeah you have to understand spirit does not hold on to grudges they don't uh you know they don't affiliate with that type of energy here all is forgiven you know okay moving on yeah you two will reunite one day you know you guys were like best friends you know i just i just feel that you know I also feel that you should keep an eye on, um, not literally, like his wife, okay? Um, but I feel like you should check in on her. You know, I just feel that he's a little worried about her after his passing here. You can go see her. Yeah. And he would appreciate that. I feel like you kind of reach out and communicate to him here, but really not totally confident in knowing that he can hear you. This is confirmation that he can hear you. He definitely made it to the other side. He is happy. He is content. Uh, the wife does communicate to him. I feel that she is a very strong believer as well on the other side. She gives me the, uh, I give her the strength. And vice versa, I feel that she, like, not, I wouldn't say pray, but talks to him. And that gives him the encouragement to know that they still have that connection between the wife uh, and himself. And I feel that he's saying to the wife, okay, so we're switching energies here instead of the friend, the best friend. We're switching messages here towards the wife here. So I feel that he finds it kind of um, interesting, okay, to say the least, that... Um, you know, she still feels his energy around and he's pretty impressed, okay, that you can 
uh, he, he soaks it all in. He still finds you beautiful. Aww. Aww. I'm sorry, like he's like saying, I'm sorry that I'm not there. I know I kind of left things um, kind of not, well, he just said to shuffled a little bit, but you know, it just takes some time. Like for me, story time, for me, uh, I had bills out my behind, <laughs> you know, uh, and they didn't go away. They were there for six months. I'm like, really? <laughs> so I had to take care of all the paperwork, all the money, you know, things like that. You know, it's not, it's, it's just, it just life, you know, that needs to take care of things. But he apologizes for being, uh, leaving things a little chaotic. Okay. But yeah, but you, you have this. Okay. And you're okay with it. All right. It's just taking some time, but you know, to catch up with money here and over, it could be overdue bills or whatever, but everything just stay strong. He's giving you that encouragement. You'll be perfectly fine. Absolutely. Yeah. You'll grow with that experience too. Meaning that not saying that you're not saving in the past, but you're definitely going to be a little tighter with money. I'm feeling too. Okay. Yeah. The mental anguish will definitely, uh, decrease once you get kind of more stable, but you will reach that goal of just not stability with this whole situation, but as well with money. Pentacles. Pentacles is, uh, uh, money. Okay. Now you could talk to a financial advisor. You could talk to a friend. I know financial advisors cost money, uh, you know, if, if dealt with, uh, but definitely, you know, definitely talk to somebody to show some kind of action. Cause you're kind of hesitant as to where to go, what to do with this. You could be investing some, okay. You could be planning a trip, uh, once you invest and once you, or what have you, once you gain some, um, yeah, <laughs> I keep thinking of interest and I just, my, my, my savings account just popped up for my six month interest, uh, accumulation and it was sad. <laughs> so I don't know how much, uh, sorry, I don't know how much interest or what have you, but take what applies. There's definitely money, uh, coming in. It could be with, um, life insurance could be will money, what have you, but I do feel that there's going to be some kind of upcoming decision that you're going to be um, going on a vacation. I do feel that. Absolutely. At the right time, no pressure, but definitely. And, and again, I feel that you two will reunite one day at the right time. Okay. You got two aces. Okay. So that's divine timing here, but definitely I feel that you're going to be making some kind of um, money as well as recumulating money that was lost. Okay. Along the way, uh, it's kind of like, bombard, you know, like all the walls coming in, crumbling in at once. And it's kind of like, just take a breather. You're okay. You, you could be talking to uh, someone like a friend or what have you, like I said, but regardless, there's going to be money coming in. I feel that you're going to be taking advantage of, you know, and rightfully so, you know, you need a little getaway, you know, you had went through a lot and I feel that you definitely, when the time is right, you will go on this trip. So that is what I have. I hope that this helps guys. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it as always. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.